In related news this evening, what was supposed to have been a celebratory occasion for a new Providence family turned quickly last evening to one of anguish. On the scene of the country's latest traffic fatality, our Lloyd Allen. Police reporting a major traffic fatality. This taking place in the area of Balfour Avenue and Mini Street. Police say the victim was exiting a vehicle at the time when she was struck. She was subsequently taken to the hospital prior to the police arrival. We got further information from the hospital that she had succumbed to those injuries. Officer in charge at Police Traffic Division Chief Superintendent Eugene Strawn shared exclusively with ZNS News that the driver of that vehicle which hit the victim did remain at the scene and was taken into custody for further questioning. He is in possession of some particulars or documents that we need to scrutinize to confirm whether or not they were legitimate and then we'll move forward from there. The victim has been identified by family members as 34-year-old Robin Benacord. Her grandmother, Grace Roll, was feet away in her home when the incident occurred. We were, as a family, gathered in the house. All my boys were, were gathered and we were talking. And we heard a bomb. And when we looked out, she was on the side of the road. The, this man overtake her. And while he, when he come to overtake her, a car was coming forward and he had to soil and he took her on, on the sidewalk. The victim's cousin, Curtier Roll, laments that Robin's death was particularly grave and she was literally headed to their family home to celebrate acquiring her nursing degree while the family wanted to surprise her with a special visit from a father flying in from Exuma just hours earlier. He held on to her until her last breath um, and I just, I, I, there are no words if this is completely senseless. Roll says despite her passing, Robin's legacy will live on. She would always remind me to live. And, and that is a very complex thing. It has so many layers, but to remember to live, to enjoy those moments, to embrace those moments, and to celebrate every victory and to learn from every loss. And as investigations continue into this latest traffic fatality, the victim leaves behind three young children and a husband. Reporting from the Balfour Avenue area for the Bahamas Tonight, I'm Lloyd Allen. Hi there, I'm Corval Pfeiffer. Thank you for watching our YouTube page. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for all things Zed and S.